Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks, and since it's getting close to the holiday season, I make these cute little bags last year. It was a really quick, probably half an hour, so no big deal. I would use these to put gift cards in. And you just do the little drawstring like that, and you could set them on someone's desk, or hang them from the tree even if you wanted to, like that. And last year I made them look like this. They just look like fun. They look like fun. Just colorful and happy. This year I grabbed my Red Heart Super Saver Mistletoe, which is a pooling yarn. This was my final one that I made yesterday. Just took me a little bit of time. I'm going to show you this one and share the pattern with you. You can throw this together very quickly. Isn't he adorable? has a little toggle button on it and a drawstring top. Put just about anything you want to in there and zip it closed. So let's get started. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks! Alright, you're going to need, I always have, of course, I always have my clicker, a 4 millimeter hook. Even though this reads a 5.5 millimeter, I'm using a 4. That also helped me do my pooling. A stitch marker, the scissors, and you're going to want to have a needle around for the very, very end. Just to weave in your ends. So here we go. It's really fast. There's only 21 rounds. If you're not familiar with the magic circle. All right, and in my magic circle or magic ring, I am going to put, and there's my first single crochet, and I'm going to mark it so I don't lose it amongst all of this stuff that's going on right here. I don't want to lose it. So there's my first single crochet in the ring. I want to put nine. So here's number two, number three, there's my nine. I'm going to pull this just a little bit. I don't pull it completely tight until I have a couple of rounds in. It just makes it easier for me. If you want to pull it tight now, you certainly can. I just don't like this very first stitch to be super tight so I can get in there. Right now for round two, see that's round one. We're already done. That's great. Round two, we're just going to increase our ring. So there's our first single crochet and how you increase with a circle making in the round here is we're going to put for the second round you put two single crochets in every stitch. So there was my first one and I marked it so I can find it when I come around again. So in that same stitch right here there's my number two. Now in this stitch, this stitch also gets two. Every stitch all the way around gets two single crochets. So what we're doing is increasing from 9 to 18. Please remember that it really helps my channel when you watch the video all the way to the end. And here's my last stitch of round one. So we get for our round two, put single crochet number one and single crochet two. So that was 17 and 18. Now our round two is complete. We've increased to 18 stitches total. Yay! Round three, we're going to increase again up to 27. The way that you do that, there's our first single crochet. I'm going to mark it again so I can find my stitch without having to count them all. I love stitch markers. They're such a time saver. All right, so there's our first stitch. We just did a one single crochet. I'm going to do a second single crochet in that very first stitch. And then one in the next stitch. Two single crochets in this stitch and one single crochet in this. Two single crochets in that stitch and one in this stitch. And here's my last two stitches. This one gets two single crochets and this last one just gets this one single crochet. Now we have just increased our little ring to 27. Now I usually feel like I'm ready to pull this string and make that circle tight. All right, so that was round three. As I said, there's only 21 rounds, so we're, we're just flying along. Now in round four, we're going to increase again to 36. And how we do that is, let's do one single crochet here and we're going to mark it. And in that same stitch, we're going to put one more single crochet. So we have two in that very first stitch. The next two get a single crochet each. So 
continue that pattern all the way around. There's two single crochets in this stitch, a single here, and a single here. Very last stitch is a single crochet. Tighten this up again every once in a while because when you do work with it, it's going to loosen up a bit. You can weave this one in later or just leave it once it's turned into a bag. You probably won't have too much trouble with it but it's always easy to do a little slip stitch back here when you're weaving in all of your ends. But there's the end of round four. See, of course, it's not pooling yet because we're just not at that place. But we're at 36 stitches in the round here, and that's how many we need for the rest of the bag going up. For the next round, round five, I'm just gonna start with one single crochet and mark it. And now the trick if you want to pool, so it's just not really a pooling lesson, that's a different, that will be a different video. But if you are going to pool, if you want to do this, I found with my four millimeter hook and this yarn and my tension that I was able to get 13 greens in a round. So we're just going to single crochet all the way around my last two stitches on round five. One single crochet and there's my last one. There we go. Now we're going to start working up the bag, so we're not going to increase for 13 rounds. If you're not going to pull, you will have one that looks like this, because you're not really watching your tension and paying attention to it, but it's still really cute and very festive. If you do want to pull, then you will end up with this. And the trick to pooling is all about tension and making sure you have exactly the right count for your stitches. So for each of the whites I had four. And let's see what happened this time. 15. Same as I got last time. 15 red. That means there would be 13 greens. So this is 36 stitches total. But if you do the math, four white plus four white plus 15 red plus 13 green is, is only 35. That's how you get this to start going at an angle. If we did exactly 36, you get a vertical strike. We want it to just go one at a time, just one stitch off. Let me show you one round of that. And it's all about tension. I'm going to see how close I get on my first round. This is round six. Again, we're just going to go all the way around with single crochets. You can see here, I have a green here. And one more green there. We're starting to make this little diagonal area right here. So that one worked. And then we'll get four out of the white. And that one's still a little bit long. So then you'll get just this little bit here and there, like in this one right here. But you still have a great stripe. So again, this is round six. It's going all the way around. So that was the end of round six. So I'm going to continue on. 36 single crochets all the way around for every row until you're done with round 17 and this was round 6. So I will meet you back here at the end of round 17 and show you how to do the tippy top. So this is the very last stitch that I need for round 17 is right here. I'm going to finish it off with that green right there. So there's round 17. So we just went all the way up with the same dimensions. So it just started to make a bag. Instead of keeping getting wider and wider and wider, it went up. So that's great. I'm going to show you how to make the little drawstring holes right here. Very, very simple. So for the first one, this is round 18. Do your single crochet and mark it. So we're doing a pattern all the way around of two single crochets, two chains, and skip two. And then do that again single crochet, single crochet, chain two, and skip two. All the way around. Really, really easy. Meet you back at my stitch marker. Those are my last two single crochets for round 18 because I have to skip these two. So I'm going to chain two and skip over to this guy. But round 19 is about to start. I've just skipped these two because our chain two is taking up this space. So we're going over here. This is the first stitch in round 19, and do a single crochet. And move the stitch marker, because I love my stitch markers. They save me a lot of time. Very pro stitch marker. 
right, so in each of the single crochets that we have here, we're going to do a single crochet again. So there's two. In this chain space that I just made, we're going to put two single crochets in the chain space. There's two single crochets, two single crochets in the chain space. And continue that all the way back to the stitch marker. Easy peasy. I'll meet you back at the stitch marker in just about a minute. Almost to the end. There's the chain two space. So I'll put two single crochets in that chain space. Single crochet in that single crochet from the previous round. Another one. And in this last spot right here, there's our last chain space, two single crochets. That was round 19. There's only 21. So we're done in just a minute. Round 20 is easy peasy. Single crochet all the way around, almost to the end. This is round 20. So exciting. Right now my very last round, round 21. Very simple. I just like to do a slip stitch. I just thought it looked nice the way that it finished off the top with a nice little, almost like a little belt. Just looked cute. So I'm going with just a slip stitch all the way around. 36 slip stitches. One more stitch. And we are done with the bag. I'm just going to cut this cut it through and finish off however you like. All you need now is this little tie. You have a toggle button with the holes in it right here, then you can make like this. Cute little drawstring bag. If you don't happen to have any toggle buttons, that's okay. Because you just can go like that. And just tie it off like you're tying a shoe. Really easy. The drawstring is a very, very simple. I used Red Heart White and it's just a chain of 75. And now we're just going to feed this through. Really can start anywhere you like. In and out just like you are lacing up your shoes. Changing out your shoelaces. Go into those chain two spaces. Pull it through. And when you get to the last one, these are going to join up. They both come through the same chain two space. Try to get them to be as even as possible. So there you go. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to my channel and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.